under the second 5 year plan the government want to start junior technical institutes but so far the education department is not in a position to know what type of junior technical institutes are going to be established in the country every time we ask the education department to furnish us with details of their schemes the reply we get from the education ministry is that some officer of the department has been sent abroad to study this question and only when he returns from abroad will they be able to finalize the thing an officer of the education department has been sent to study these institutions in france i think he must have spent 4 or 5 months in france but the reply that the education ministry has given is that he could not study the entire scheme and he wants some other officer to be deputed to study as i said before under the second 5 year plan we are to start junior technical institutes but so far the education department is not in a position to give even the correct information to those private agencies which are there ready to start these schools therefore i request the education department not to sleep over things but to take very active steps in collecting the necessary information and in helping the private agencies who want to start these institutes in this country para i know my people are suffering because they have been given a very defective type of education today we have to depend upon the reservation whenever any vacancy occurs in a department that vacancy even it is is reserved is not filled by a scheduled caste man naturally this type of education will not help a candidate to choose any other profession except to depend upon government establishments therefore it is necessary at least to see that the scheduled castes the scheduled tribes and the tribal people do not depend upon the reserved services they must be given technical education for that the education department will have to spend enormous money i do not want government to simply waste money in propaganda against untouchability this is a real step which would definitely improve the conditions and make the scheduled castes to be independent that is without being dependent upon government services therefore i would like the home ministry to give special directives to all the state governments para i know in some of the states they have started special schools when they felt the need because in many of the other institutions the scheduled castes were not allowed in those days at that time there were many states which had started special schools to cater to the needs of the scheduled castes now when the government is not able to give the reserved vacancies to them it is very necessary that these technical schools should be started 
so that the scheduled castes can be made independent and can prosper in this country para i join my friend in expressing satisfaction at the fact that the national income has recorded an increase of 18% perhaps 7% more than the estimated increase but i do not find evidence of this in any appreciable increase in the standard of living in the villages i should like to know from the finance minister if this increase in national income is reflected in the general living of the people have they tried to find out either by any sample survey or by any other method we should know whether the benefit has reached the common man as far as i am concerned my own experience is that unemployment in the rural areas continues to be as high as it was before if it has not recorded any increase one way by which we can gauge this is by the number of persons crowding round public servants or public men for some sort of recommendations to secure jobs in urban areas the extent of unemployment is judged by the registrations in the employment exchanges i do not suppose there is any such device for the rural areas and i think our experience can be depended upon to some extent for finding out the extent of unemployment para this leads me to feel that even though there is an increase in national wealth the benefit is not going to the common man therefore i feel that we should bring about a very drastic change in the property relations if we are really keen on realizing the socialistic pattern of society the sooner we change the property relation the better i believe the proportion in which the accumulated wealth of the nation is held by certain classes determines the pattern of production to a considerable extent the pattern of production determines the pattern of distribution we cannot therefore secure distributive justice unless and until there is a change in property relations we have therefore abolished the sanctity or attached to the property and we have made compensation payable to those who are expropriated non justiciable